Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to be unboxing something new from Pop Off Leather. Um, they were kind enough to send me something else, so thanks to all you guys out there. Thanks for making this. Thanks for sending it to me. This was provided for free, however, that will not influence my opinions, these initial ones, or my long-term review opinions. Um, I do have another piece of their gear that I've reviewed on my channel. It is this here. It's a little pen and knife slip called the Pocket Armor. Uh, really, really cool piece of EDC gear. I love this thing. And my Benchmade proper has found a home in there along with my Coveco Lilliput. Check out this review if you haven't already. But let's go ahead and move on to what they sent me today. Um, so let's go and take a look. Go ahead and open it up here. We have a thanks pamphlet from Pop Off Leather. Some order information that you probably don't care about or need to see. Oh, that is awesome. Um, we have a sticker from them. I am definitely putting this on my car. Um, it's just a little bit of extra advertising. I love the pocket armor. If you haven't checked out their leather, it's great quality. And I, I'm super excited to, to get this. This is great. Let's go and take a look at what they actually sent me for real review, though, and that is in this pop-off leather box. This is the same kind of box their um, pocket armor came in, and this is one of their pen sleeves, and here is their contact information if you're interested. Let's set that right over there. So, initial impressions, um, I like it a lot. It's It feels very good. If you're curious about this color, um, this is the Driftwood Leather with cream stitching. They have a ton of different st stitching and leather color options, so check those out. Um, I do have a couple of other pen sleeves here I'd like to uh, compare it to. Now, these are, of course, significantly more broken in, but, you know. Um, I do have one other leather one. It's the Aston Leather Pen Sleeve. I will say in terms of overall quality, this feels leagues better. Um, it's also seems to be a bit more slim than the Aston leather case. Um, that, yeah, it is. The Aston leather case is a bit chunkier. So if you're looking for something slim that's going to protect it, this might be a better option, but we'll, we'll go over all that. And the other pin sleeve I have here is probably most commonly carried, and that's the rickshaw pin sleeves. Um, these guys look like they're, yeah, they're about the same. Sorry, it's, it's very difficult to show you this here. They're about the same thickness. The rickshaw might be a little bit thicker, but not by much. Yeah, the rickshaw is a tad bit thicker. But I really like those. Those are canvas. Those are not leather. Very different materials. But I figured I'd compare it. So let's go ahead and get a pen in here. Let's, uh, we'll start off easy. We'll take the Pilot Metropolitan and uh, see how it fits. Oh, that's, that's actually really nice. Um, I was a bit worried about the pen, a pen this small rolling around, but no issues at all. So far, it seems to be held in place pretty firmly. Um, and this leather will mark up. It's meant to. It's meant to take on some characters as it goes. Um, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat, this is a fairly short pen. These might be a bit difficult to get out of here. Um, that's the case with my Aston leather pen sleeve as well. So pen sleeves in general, um, you're going to kind of have to work up from the bottom. It's not something they've done it's just a, a comment if you've never used one you're gonna even with this one i'm about to take my pelican out of here i don't have enough to grip right here i'm gonna have to like kind of work it up but let's see how it handles the pelican in the 805 this is a very large pen and it fits in there perfectly actually um <laughs> this may be its permanent new home um i like this this brown color with the blue quite a bit. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to fit something super small in here like a Caveco Lilliput. I'm just going to leave this inside. Go ahead and start getting it broken in. Um, you're not going to be able to fit something super small in this like the Caveco Lilliput, but any normal size pen should fit in here just fine. It's going to keep your pen a little bit secure, pretty padded. Um, it is a little stiff, as most leather is, so I'm curious to see how it's going to break in and see if it offers decent protection. Um, this pen in here is very expensive, so I hope it does. It seems like it so far. Um, just like the other piece of pop-off leather 
that I've had. The stitching's really, really good. The quality's very, very good. Um, this pen sleeve is a little bit wider than the Aston leather pen sleeve. And I'll, I'll kind of share that here. And it's a bit boxier. Um, however, to be honest, I think I like that appearance a little bit better than this. And obviously the leather quality on this is far superior. But I think aesthetically I like this a little bit better. Um, it couldn't hurt to be a little bit slimmer, but I think it's just for sheer versatility. You can you can definitely fit a larger pin in here. Um, if I press on the sides a little bit, I can very easily, well, not very easily, I can, there's still room. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the largest pin that I have at the moment, so I can't test out anything larger, unless, of course, I buy a bigger pin, right? So we'll see, we'll see if I can do that. But I will go ahead and start carrying this. I will update you guys shortly. Give it um, about two, three weeks, and um, I should have a review up. Again, if you haven't checked them out already, go take a look at their site at least. I'll leave a link down in the description. And again, thanks to um, everybody over there that made this and shipped it to me um, to give for review for you guys. Really excited to take a look at it. And if you have any questions about this or anything else, leave them down in the comments. If you have any questions for Pop-Off Leather, there's their contact information. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.